beach not far away I went to visit for a day Got covered with some gooey ooze That changed my DNA Now I try to act normal, keep my cool While other kids play after school I turn into a prehistoric hero I'm in, I'm in This could be a difficult mission. Today on Dino Squad, Ms. Moynihan is captured by Victor Velocity. He's got her! Can the Dino Squad rescue her before Velocity discovers Moynihan's true identity? We have to get her back. Go, Go Dino. Dino! Look at that. We could be out in the sunshine, sailing, instead of cooped up inside on a Saturday, studying a bunch of useless subjects like Greek mythology. I mean, who cares what stories the Greeks told each other thousands of years ago? What's it got to do with playing better football or saving the world? I understand your frustration. It can seem like some subjects aren't relevant. But a well-rounded education is the best way to succeed in life. That's what I've been trying to tell them. Without having studied math and science, I never would have been able to design all our cool dino gizmos. You know, your frustration might not just be from all the studying, but it may be a result of being under so much stress from all the things you have to do. Midterms, after-school sports, family obligations, not to mention saving the world from Victor Velocity. Veni, Vidi, Vici. Come again, sir? A Latin phrase meaning I came, I saw, I conquered. And with what I've observed over the past several months, perhaps today I will finally conquer those perfect dinosaurs. A careful study of video images of past encounters indicates there are five of them. A Pteranodon. Styracosaurus. Stegosaurus. Spinosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex. I've concluded that the reason we failed to capture one is because we haven't had sufficient manpower combined with the right type of mutants. But this time, I'm creating mutants from an animal species known for its wildly uncontrollable behavior. Book reports are, like, so not worth the paper they're printed on. I mean, who really cares that the Sheriff of Nottingham put a reward on Robin Hood's head? Yeah, or that William Tell shot an apple off his son's head. Or that Sir Isaac Newton got hit by an apple on his own head. The apple didn't really hit Sir Isaac on the head, Caruso. He just saw it fall. But it's a good thing he discovered the laws of gravity, or we might never have gone to the moon. So you see, it's not that what you're learning is unimportant, it's just that you haven't found a use for it. Yet. There's a mutant outbreak in Manchester, New Hampshire. Not mutant. Mutants! Six of them! The signals are weak which means they've been contaminated, but haven't fully mutated. Looking on the bright side, at least we get to take a study break. This could be a difficult mission. I'm coming along. Good to see you again, Ms. Moynihan. You too, Arnold. Thanks for loaning us your SUV on such short notice. You're sure I can't pay you? Well, I wouldn't refuse a batch of your famous crab cakes. You got it. A dog show! Awesome! I love dogs. Not when they're two-ton scaly mutants you don't. Yeah, that could be a little too big to sleep on my bed. I'll stay here with Caruso and keep an eye out for Velocity. The readings are coming from over that way. Whatever's been contaminated, they're inside that box. Open it up. Aw, aren't they adorable? 
Yeah, and any second, they're gonna be adorable Labradorosauruses. <laughs> Dino One to Mother Saurus. We've got six wild puppies about to go mutant. Incoming! Bad dog! <gasps> Ick! Dino puppy slobber! Stay! Something tells me now would be a good time to go Dino! Four of them. Move in. It's an ambush. Tell me about it. No, I mean Velocity's men. They're everywhere. I got your back, Fiona. These guys have been doing their homework. They've never been this well organized. Oh, dear. help them. And as much as I hate to do it, there's only one way. Um, Dr. Velocity? Don't worry, I'm not Velocity. Ms. Moynihan? Move back. You? I'd recognize that coloring anywhere. And I was hoping to never see your scaly face again. I might have known you'd be behind these perfect dinosaurs, getting in the way of my plans. Someone's got to protect the human race from a reptile like you. Someone, perhaps, but not you. Bring in the other trucks. The dude's got us this time. Not if my telepathic communication is still as strong as it used to be. Stop! Look at those men. Time to play! They might get away this time, but you won't. He's got her! Miss Moynihan! <gasps> it's chilling and spilling time! time. indicates that Velocity has her at Raptordyne. So, we go to Raptordyne and get her out. Easier said than done, dude. If I know Velocity, and I wish I didn't, his lair is probably hidden deeper and got more booby traps than the wickedest video game I ever played, and lost. How am I supposed to figure out a plan? Kittery High doesn't exactly offer dino commando classes. All I know is a bunch of useless history, algebra, and literature. Everything we learn is useless. 
until we put it to use. The Brainosaurus is right. We gotta use our heads, like Newton did when he saw the apple fall. Not Newton, Robin Hood! You mean Robin Hood discovered the laws of gravity? No, I'm talking about the reward the Sheriff of Nottingham put on Robin Hood's head. So? So, Velocity put out a reward too, remember? Yeah, for anyone with information leading to the capture of a dinosaur. But what's that got to do with anything? Maybe we should tell him we have a dinosaur? Wait, that's it. We'll do what the Greeks did in Troy. Yeah, we'll invade Raptor Dine with a thousand ships. But where are we going to get 50,000 guys to row them? I'm talking about the Trojan horse. Only we won't use a horse. Of course not. We'll trick Velasi with the Trojan dinosaur. Why don't you just revert to human so I can see what you look like now? Of course not. Then I trace your identity and find out where you're hiding those five perfect dinosaurs. Give up your futile human pursuits. Join with me again. Together, we could succeed with my plan for global dinosaur domination! All set. Great, so here's the plan. We hook the cage to the SUV and Caruso drives it to Raptor Dine. Just before we arrive, Fiona gets in the cage and goes dino, while Roger, Buzz, and I get in the secret compartment. When Velocity brings the cage into his lair, we sneak out and rescue Miss Moynihan. Where's Caruso? Do I look cool or what? What's with the lip rug? In case Velocity's ever seen me, with this disguise, he'll never recognize me. He may not recognize your face, but no one could miss that hair. Huh? Oh. Deal or no deal? Awesome. Fiona, go for it. Go Dino! If this doesn't get him to bite the hook, nothing will. Sir, he says he just came out of his underground garage towing his dinosaur. If you don't want it, he'll take it to the local zoo. Oh, yes. It is one of the perfect ones. Tell him he'll get his reward if he brings it here immediately. Looks like I'll get one with or without your help. Judging by the signature, it's the Spinosaurus. That's it. Keep on struggling. By the time my dinosaur gets here, you'll be so exhausted that you'll have to revert to human form, and I'll be that much closer to capturing the rest of those perfect dinosaurs. He's here, sir. Let him in. Good afternoon, Dr. Velocity. This is your lucky day. Just look at that beauty. Pay him. He's taking the bait. But, uh, I haven't finished my lines. I mean, my negotiation. What is he doing? Something tells me we should have put Caruso in the cage. Negotiation? What are you talking about? I'm talking about two tons of prime Spinosaurus. Heck, Porterhouse is going for 25 bucks a pound, and this baby's worth twice that, which comes to... $200,000! Deal or no deal? No deal. Excellent! What? But, uh... Have you any idea how hard it is to capture and cage a dinosaur? As a matter of fact, I do. Which makes me wonder how an obviously not that bright young man such as yourself was able to capture a ferocious Spinosaurus and get it into that cage. So tell me, how did you manage it? Well, I... er... Uh, uh... 
Androcles and the Lion? Now that would be a good story! As a matter of fact, Dr. Velocity, when I found this dinosaur, it was in great pain with a big thorn in its paw. At extreme risk to my own personal safety, I bravely took out the thorn. Then the lion, er, dinosaur, was so thankful it befriended me. So, uh, after school and metal shop, I built this cage for it. Sounds like a fable to me. Look, sir, it's true. And, uh, seeing as how her paw is still sore, I'll accept your generous offer. Deal? Deal. Take it down to the lab. Yes! Don't worry, Miss Moynihan. We're going to get you out. Whatever you're planning, do it quickly. I can't remain in Raptor form much longer. Take some DNA samples and get a full body scan. I want to know the secret to these perfect dinosaurs. He's going to find out we're a bunch of high school dinosaurs. We got to stop him. Hold your horsesauruses. We've got to wait for Fiona's signal. <sighs> Find her! Today's my lucky day. Buy one, get three free. Get the DNA sample. Now I know what it feels like to be a lab rat. There's gotta be some way out of this. What are those buttons? I can't read them. I think they're written in Raptorese. No, that's Latin. Why would Velasa use Latin? Because he's been around for ages and probably spoke Latin long before he spoke English. I know these words. The first means warning. The next is cage. Then cold... Salvo? I don't know that one. I told you Latin was useless. No. We can figure it out by finding English words with the same root. Like sol. Dissolve? Solve it. What do they all have in common? You solve a problem, dissolve something into water, get paint off with a solvent. They're all about breaking things up. Or getting rid of something. Or getting free from it. Free from a problem. Free up the solid paint. Or free us from this cage. It must be the release button. What if it's the dinosaur dissolving solvent release button? We'll have to take that chance. Get them! chance to grab Velocity and destroy his lab. That cage won't hold Velocity for very long. He's too strong and too clever. We've gotta get Ms. M and get out of here now. I'm so glad you're okay. I'm proud of all of you. 
Not just for rescuing me, but for doing it by so brilliantly using what you've learned. Who'd have thought Greek mythology could be so useful? Or Latin. Scientia est potentia. Knowledge is power, dude. Indeed it is. That's why I love teaching, and why you all need to study hard and complete your education. Yep, everything we learn has value. Take American history. Why, even though it was over 200 years ago, the Boston Tea Party is still significant. How right you are, Caruso. Understanding why we fought for our freedom is as important today as it ever was. I was talking about the tea. Oolong is my favorite. Just a touch of honey and lemon. Mmm, goes great with a cranberry scone. Can I throw him into the harbor, Ms. Moynihan? Please. have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle.